Michael, do you want to come round to me house next weekend? Wait, what? I, I think I think I'm free. Oh no, I'm not, because I'm off to video game market. Never mind. No, I can't okay. invite you. Okay, maybe another time. With a yo ho ho, it's tail the toaster. Uh, okay, what? I, I just, I just wanted to. Is, you... is this the intro? Okay, right, good. I don't fucking know. Yeah, we've got a Corin versus Dark Pit going on with Tail versus Michael. Last time the two of us MC'd, we had a right laugh doing Steli versus Jackal, and Michael lost. What time are you currently at? Because I kind of, um, I kind of didn't start. I didn't, I didn't get like start properly. So when I, I was really looking forward to that video going up, because like in one of the failed recordings, Chris got an amazing Damn. substitute spike. Tail, I'm out of sync. I didn't I'm... realize we were going. I was just confused. Oh, you didn't hit record. No, I, I hit record. I just didn't hit the play button in the in the like match because I was just confused. Oh. Never mind. I'll take care of it. It's okay. <laughs> what time are we at? It's like a minute and a half through. Well, I guess we have to stop it now. Okay, I, I just skipped it a minute and a half, so... <laughs> that works. This is horrible. Okay. Right, worst commentary ever. But yeah, like, Chris I'm got an amazing there. substitute spike, but that recording got cut, and Michael's commentary from the set was gone, so I was just oh, I, That's on I my... Was... I'm pretty sure I sent that to Bali, and it's on my Google Drive, so... I was gonna submit it genuinely to EMG Play of the Week, and then it turned out that set didn't count. It's like, oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's one percent in it between Pawn and the lazy gamer, but the lazy gamer's gonna have to get up off his ass and get the killing blow. Nope, it goes to Pawn with a side yep. B. Gonna be honest, I fucking hate fighting Corin. Like Believe right now. Me. I know that being a Sonic, you know, it, it doesn't really make much sense for me to complain given that he's one of the best characters in the game, but Corrin is such a bad matchup. Well, I can't stand it. Like, I'm I'm a Peach main and I don't, don't even know what the matchup is like because I don't really check You're out the matchup. You're a Peach main now? Yes. But the hype villager? Uh, I, I didn't, I don't mean villager anymore, I mean Peach now. Alright, well that, that's the first I didn't have a clue. Um, it's just like I didn't I didn't have a clue either. Like a week before the tournament started, I picked I, I played Peach and Scourge was like, damn, your Peach is good and I was like, I'm gonna play Peach now, so that's alright. You could much easily it. win if you just use Cloud, you know. I don't I haven't paid for Cloud, so you know. And oh god, was that reverse side smash? I'm really not sure. I Fawn held on to it a bit longer there, that would have been it. This is yeah. a pretty dominating performance from Fawn, who lost out to Emily. There we go, game one goes to Fawn. Yeah, that's a pretty impressive. So, we'll have to see if there's any interesting character switches from either of the two in game two. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, see you next match. No surprises here, we're seeing a Cloud. Ew, Cloud this is Corrin, this is my nightmare. Oh no, it's like when Cloud first came out, oh what, this is Omega Dreamland, what's the point? <laughs> Can I mean, you put like pilot wings or Wuhu Island because to get you a get, different background? In because you? you get DDD in the background, which is beautiful, DDD's perfection. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice. I, I, like, sorry. When Cloud first came out, he just seemed so OP because he could just do everything. But now I understand why Sakurai thought he was balanced. It's because Corrin is ultimate counter pick to him. <sighs> Pretty much. But then Corrin's everyone's counter pick, so. Like, yeah, for the most part, my Sonic just can't get near it, and it's a pain in the ass. It's like they didn't make Robin this good, but Corrin's like, eh, I'm gonna. Be great. I legit think one of the only reasons Corrin's like so good is just like the counter. The counter can kill you so easily. Like I was Ganondorf once and I got killed at zero percent because it's that good. Like fair enough, I, it was a it was a like it was an uncharged side smash in mid stage and I got killed by the counter because like. Wow. For me, it's the aerials though, because I have to speak strictly from a Sonic's perspective. And when I'm trying to do a homing attack or a side B. All they have to do is jump in there or up air or forward air, and I can't get anywhere near. 
I've oh, no okay. That was pretty nice. I've noticed Kirby and Villager have a decent shot against um Corrin because they can use his projectiles against him. Like same for like other reflect like characters who have reflectors and stuff. Yeah. But that would... Villager is just really good, like especially for giving Corrin's recovery with the bowling ball. Yeah, it's so, like the best thing I have to take on Cloud and Corrin is what, Toon Link or Cloud himself? Anyways, we're down to one stuff for both from both participants. Um like, we're, like, I'm a bit sad we're using the basic Corrin. Everyone uses pink Corrin. It's, it's shit. I know, it's the ugliest one, besides the fact I do prefer the male Corrin, but... I like the I, I don't, I like Unlike Cor Robin, where the male is clearly better, it, with Corrin it is a case of personal preference. But I don't get the pink one. It could She could have white hair. That's the perfect hair colour for men and women, and people just pick pink. I like um, the orange corn in the balls for some reason. Like Pink Robin as well. Why would you do that, you pile of sin? I do that, but still. Like, yeah, you well, know. you do it as a joke, just like Weeb Villager. I, I, like, I don't think it's a joke anymore. I think that's kind of just become like what it is. But uh, anyways. At least that's the main female villager costume. Cloud could anyway take this with pretty much any limit break special. And so level. could Corrin with with Corrin's counter. Or like a Oh imagine oh well, there we go, that's the end of the limit breaking. Yeah, at least we didn't have to see a counter that I probably would have thrown up if if they had countered the limit break. Oh projectile vomit. <laughs> imagine it. Then again, oh, limit. DVD! Just limit break hitting by itself is disgusting enough, it might as well get counted. Oh, that's yeah, the oh. game. Damn. Good grief. Well, nice one, Andrew. You got a bit lucky there, but it was a close match throughout. Hey, it's the weird looking dragon thing. Corrin's but dragon. When Corrin first came out, that was the only victory animation I ever got to see. The rest of them were just refusing to play. Oh. Anyway, game three. Alright, third match. Um, Last match was Cloud versus uh, Corrin, and this time we got Dark Bird versus Yoshi. Now this is a surprise because Fawn is supposedly a Yoshi main, but she's fighting against one. I had no idea Andrew used this character. I'm very surprised Andrew hasn't gone Cloud. Andrew being the lazy gamer, by I mean, the way. I, I know, there's only one male in this match. I mean, I tried to main Yoshi for a bit, but the thing was, like, I just found him so like easy to pick up and play. I think, I think like it's just like an easy character to learn. Like, cause yeah, in about yeah. a day, in about a day, I could, I like, I knew everything with Yoshi. Um, it's like Andrew plays Cloud a lot. Like when I did a set with him once, he went, you know, full Cloud for the whole set. And yeah, he hasn't brought it out here at all. Pretty much, like. There was an original bracket layout before I got moved to a match with Lotus where I was put up against Fawn. My plan was just to cloud, 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 and that'd be it. <laughs> but Fawn has taken the lead again here. She was quite unlucky to lose the last one, so perhaps this time it'll go a little better. Yeah, honestly, um, I would say it's been the match has been fairly even. Like, Fawn's usually been ahead, but, like, still. Oh. Yeah, no matter which way this goes, this is being a pretty enjoyable set. It's not between high-level players by any means, but they're evenly matched and you can't tell which way it's going to go, and they're using yeah. a big variety of characters as well, so no, judging it's just by, a lot. Judging by um, like his character, Andrew's probably going to kill first because Yoshi's just so damn good at killing. Like His smash attacks, like his aerials, he's just got so many options. That could have been big damage. Yeah. Doesn't don't get a reflector out, maybe though. Yeah. Okay, just jump into the egg instead. That will do. Oh, Super Armor! <laughs> and okay, full so now we have big advantage for Thorn here. The Water Master. It's got that. It's getting bigger and bigger. Could this be the the first victory for a woman in the losers bracket? Why did you have to say it like that? Because there's like I'm trying to find ways to make it stand out from all the other matches in the losers bracket. I mean, this is a match that doesn't have Corrin in, so that stands out for a start to me. 
yeah, like, there has been no shortage of the final three DLC characters in this tournament. Even from me, I admit, I, ha I did go Cloud at some point. But, you know, Lotus is gonna go Falcon twice in a row. I deserve some some cut sort of chance. Is that, is that much being there? Uh, well, that must be going up before this one. Yeah, it's round one, then. Okay, good. Just making sure. But, yeah, well, there's 10% in it here. One of these players is going out, and one of them is going through, and it's getting pretty exciting. It's hard. I would say Dark, Dark Pit's got a better camping game, um, just because of the reflector alone. The arrows are pretty meh, but being able to reflect um, the projectiles is pretty good. But, Fallen's now at a disadvantage percentage-wise. 20%. Yoshi can easily get ill. Okay, lag. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Google Drive. Recording breakup, but oh, it doesn't matter because we're still in sync pretty much. Oh, that that was really pretty strong for 93%. God, are we going to have an aerial kill? It is no, cool seeing a Dark Pit. I don't know, you don't see many Dark Pit players these days. No, because Dre's got all his DLC characters on now, like Cloud and Corrin. Oh, that, that was another close kill. Oh my. Is Reflecting that... the stars of the Yoshi bomb for extra damage and protecting from overhead. This is not good. In it. This is not good for Fawn. Hopefully she wins. Well, that hopefully. Well, she's been probably been the better player for this set so far, but that'll be I determined by so. who wins. That'll be determined by who wins, anyways, I guess. Yeah, whoever gets the final kill is the better player here, pretty much, and it's gonna be Andrew. Wait, is it? Oh. I thought Fawn was the dark pit. Um, have we got everything wrong? Hang on. See, they're just called player one and player two yeah, here. Yeah, that's a bit... Ugh. Um... They might label, like, who we were... Th who, who people were. Because I kind of just uh, assumed... I kind of just followed you. Looking at the tab on the Google Drive, it does say lazy versus fawn rather than fawn versus lazy. Uh, I guess that explains why there was a pink Yoshi in the match. Uh, we are the best commentators of all time. I, 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 I give up. I give up. And the lazy I, gamer I, will be going through. <laughs>